Paul Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So there's been talk by, I think it was Diane Feinstein of California, and she made a remark to indicate or to very least kind of create this innuendo that Trump may leave office because of the legislation that they're trying to pass to make him disinvest his money with his companies. <laughs> All right, so let's read. Outside of fundraising in Los Angeles, a protester asked Feinstein how Trump might be removed from office, which led the California Democrat to remark, I think he's going to get himself out. Another person made reference to Feinstein looking white as a ghost after meeting with FBI Director James Comey to discuss possible links between the Trump administration and Russia. That's when Feinstein commented, We have a lot of people looking at this. I think he's going to get himself out. I think that's sending his sons to another country to make a financial deal for his company and then have that covered with government expenses. I believe that should not be allowed. We're working on a bill that would do that now. We're working on a couple of bills that would deal with conflicts of interest. Now, that's interesting. I mean, that, that is interesting. And to be honest, she's right. I mean, for the most part, the president... The presidency should not be monetized. That, even if you're a Trump supporter, Apple, why would you? If his mantra was to drain the swamp, why are you okay with the president still running business from the Oval Office? That's just gross. That's gross. Um, that being said, Democrats better be careful. Be careful what you wish for. Absolutely be careful what you wish for. I know a lot of these guys want Trump out of that office. But did you ask the question of who's coming behind Trump at that point? Mike Pence. Mike Pence is a grandfatherly looking religious maniac. His plans, his ideas, things he wants to do is just as bad as Trump's. The only difference is, for the most part, he has a mild manner. And you know for yourself, in Washington, tone is everything. Meaning, you can have policies like Trump. As long as you don't act like Trump, for the most part, the press will go back to sleep. They will remain neutral. And you can get back into having just the typical status quo politics again. I kind of, I kind of want to make the case that that's the worst case scenario. Trump is a bumbling idiot. He is. And to some degree, the reason why we haven't had as much damage as I think I was expecting is because he's a bumbling idiot. He also splits the Republican Party. He does. In the same way that the Democratic Party has its fractures or whatever else. The Republican Party is trying to cobble together essentially poor, religious, and wealthy into one party. That party, not, not to mention libertarians, there are divisions in that party. Trump exacerbates those divisions. You have Republicans who are even talking about, I think John McCain was making this case of having investigations with Russia and everything else. If Mike Pence takes over, all that goes away. You're still going to get his agenda. You're not going to get the flack that Trump will bring just by being Donald Trump. In this case, Nancy Pelosi is right. Let Trump be Trump. That entails risk, because Trump is a wild card. But I still kind of make this point that Pence. Pence. They asked Pence who did he put himself or who would he model himself after. He said Dick Cheney. If that don't put a chill up your spine, I don't know what is. All these neocons that are in the Trump administration, even if Pence was in charge, you'd be just as bad off. I would even make the case worse because Pence looks like a typical politician. So he may be doing ghastly stuff, but for the most part, the press is not going to behave in the same way as that press behaves with Trump. They are antagonistic towards Trump. They will probably not be that way towards Pence. You have people rioting. You have the press taking the perspective of the rioters, which is, again, weird, and rioting is too strong, but protesters. You're not going to get that with Pence. You're not going to get that with Pence. So I would be careful with what you asked for. Because you may get Trump out of that office and you may end up with a hell of a lot more calamity than you'd have had with him bumbling in that office. You're gonna, look, I guess my point is, there's a difference between 
an efficient machine that works and is in alignment, as opposed to one that's not. Trump is a cog in the wheel. He is not an efficient machine by any stretch of the imagination. Mike Pence fits into that slot like a Vaseline whatever. He's perfect for that spot. And being perfect for that spot, you will see a raping like you've never seen before in life. Yes, Trump is going to do it, but I'm making the point that Pence is also going to do it. And at the very least, you have resistance against Trump. You will not have that much resistance against Pence. So, proceed at your own peril. Alright guys, thanks.